Hey! hey! <laughs> <laughs> Brandon! Welcome to another episode of Shop Talk. Hey! Uh, I'm Cam! Well, hey! I'm Karen! Oh, well. Wait, wait, let me move. There you go. Hey! hey. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds oh, like a heart attack. Oh. And I'm Brandon. <laughs> So today, on today's episode, um, we are going to be talking about drum shells and some of the other stuff we're working on, like I'm this new table. Wine. Well, oh. wine. Okay. But this table, we built this just for this episode, and then we're going to burn, burn it. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but... I'm going to do my guitar music. Okay, <laughs> you're taking it home after taking this. Home. So, um, also, there's one other really cool thing that's in the background. It's this 50-pound hatch that is from a boat that one of our customers actually wants us to put in a barn door. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure if they can see it or not, but it's cool. <laughs> All right, so... Good sound effects, honey. Yeah, well, hey, those were great. <laughs> so let's talk about drum shells. Um, what you can't see is we have a whole table full of drum shells. And I'm going to bring them over probably one at a time fairly quick. And uh, I want to see not only what you guys think of the quality of the shell, but also um, what sizes maybe you guys would use for a drum kit. I know you're a guitar player, but... You know, you have some pretty good input. You've been around Dad for so long about drums. I know you got input. <laughs> so I got output. Uh, yeah, you got output <laughs> through the sticks. So uh, let's start. Let me grab Numero Uno and this little cute little baby six, six-inch drum shell. It's tiny and it's cute. So this is uh, this is actually a Keller shell that we uh, that we got. It's a uh, all birch drum shell, and we had to get it for a customer because he wanted a little tiny six inch by six inch tom in black. Mm. In black that uh, he wanted us to match his DW drum set. Huh. So we did. And who was that? Uh, I don't oh, know his name. Bob. No, oh. that's not his name. Oh, okay. I can't remember his name. Okay. Do you? Um, when you get these, do you cut them? Yeah. Yep. So for a tiny well, drum we, we've set... We've already cut this one. This, yeah, one's this was here. this tall. Yeah. Okay, so how much more are you cutting it? Uh, whoever wants to order whatever size, okay. we'll just cut that for them, put the lugs on, oh. spray it. But what's, really, it. what's really cool about That's this nice. one... nice. I like that. So back, back in the 70s, uh, Tommy used to make octobons. And uh, very similar to that. Very similar to this, and they, you know, the different different lengths and, yeah. and slightly different sizes, okay. but they made. So that, and would they go into a stand that Octoman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it is. And you'd normally have like six to eight of them. <laughs> so. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so. To foodie, to foodie, to foodie. <laughs> So, um, this, uh, this drum shell uh, comes out of a press, you know, the, the guys take the amount of plies that uh, the customer wants and they put it in a big press, glue it all together, and they spit out a big shell. Um, these are super duper strong and, I don't know, they're, it's, it's kind of an amazing uh, invention if you've ever seen the drum, drum shell press. So, they're... They're pretty cool. You said that was birch? This is birch. Okay. Yeah. And actually, all the outsides of all the drums, I'm well, not all of them, but all the plywood drum shells that I'm going to show are all birch. Okay. The outsides. <laughs> okay, so, six how many, inch. How many ply is that one? This one, I think, is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they're all six ply. They're six ply, but man, there's a thickness difference on these awesome ones that we're yes. coming up on. So, this is not a Keller shell. Um, it's a killer shell. Yes, these are awesome. So this is an eight inch 
uh, birch, poplar birch. So birch outside, um, poplar, birch, poplar, birch, poplar. That's how they layer it. Mm. Uh, this is an eight by eight. And we actually use these on the smack packs. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are an amazing sounding shell. Do you have one in here that you can give someone a chance to hear it? Oh, we don't. No, 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 no. This is, oh. this is just about the shells. Oh, themselves. okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Can you hear it? you want to hear it? <laughs> that is amazing. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited now. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'll buy it. Okay. It's yours. 7,000. Oh, uh, 10, so, 10 million. Okay. It's mom. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? It's mom. You know those uh, Don't Russian forget mom. dolls or whatever that stack? You oh, know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you yeah. could make a drum set like that, you know? Well, that's actually well, that's the there's, whole point. Of the there's whole a whole concept it. around all of that. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, when we maybe go to the next NAMM show, not the one coming up, but the next one, I'm hoping to have the concept kind of fulfilled and... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it'll be very yeah. cool. Um, full size drum set all packed down into one. It'll be great. Okay. So, yeah. The um, the looks <coughs> of it. Yeah. When on you, here, there's a lot of grain. That's exactly. And it. it's beautiful. That's why I don't want like if we get drum shells and somebody wants a wrap on them. Yeah. You don't use these. That was an eight by eight. Now we're moving up. Oh, what's behind shell number three? Mm -hmm. Yes. It, uh, well, the there's movie? a lot of dust. Hold on. Hold on. Let me blow it. Oh, in that drink. drumming sounds so good. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> so this is a 10 by 10. And, uh, you know, it kind of looks like the other one, but just bigger. Just bigger. <laughs> it looks more like a 10 by 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny is the length always looks bigger than the diameter. Yeah, I don't know it why is. it always does, but it's a ten by ten. Huh. Yeah. But do you uh, sell quite a bit of these? This is the one we mm -hmm. yes sell the most of. Okay. So the snare, the main tom, yes, are made out of it. Yeah. Yep. And but uh, for making micro snares, the eight inch is what we also sell the most of. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we need to get some more. So. 10 by 10, you'll see all the shells that we have, so you can call us and put a fat order in for an awesome drum set. This is a 12 by 12. Looks like a 12 by 14. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny is all these guys, they, they can't really see the shop, so they don't know like what's happening all behind us and everything. But there's an entire wall back here, completely filled, boxes filled with drum shells and things, and wall of drum shells. Hundreds. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Millions. Keep going up. Yeah, <laughs> millions. <laughs> but same, um, same makeup is uh, birch, poplar, birch, and... Uh, the sound with the poplar in the center, I mean, it gives it an awesome warm tone. Yeah, Same with the birch. Very warm and resonant. I mean, it's, yeah, exactly. The shells just resonate amazingly. So, now, do you usually put a, a head on both sides or just one side? It, it depends. A, a standard drum set would have a head on both sides with a breather hole. Right. Um, but to make um, our smack pack and make it compact enough, right. we do one with just one side. So we're going to call them micro-concert drums. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll just call it Smack Pack. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one. What size do you think that is? Guess. That was a 12 16. by 12. Nope. No. No. 14. No. no. Uh, I'm thinking it's 20. No. Yeah, definitely a 20. <laughs> One one step down from a fourteen. Thirteen? <laughs> yeah, this is a thirteen by thirteen. Hmm. Looks like a thirteen. The variety. twenty was it was 13. the drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so thirteen by thirteen, um, we use these for our floor toms on the smack pack. Yeah. But normally these would either use be uh, for a tom tom or could be used for 
an extra floor mm -hmm. tom before you get to a 16. Mm -hmm. um, but standard, probably just a tom tom, you know, double head. So, again, oh. same makeup. Want me to play it for you? Well, you know, you need to practice. They're going fast. They're going fast. <laughs> we almost. So we're gonna skip. A, we're gonna skip a couple sizes here, <laughs> and we're gonna go to this one. Sixteen. There you are. See. I'm right. keeping with my twenty. Yeah. <laughs> so, sixteen by sixteen. Doesn't it look taller than sixteen? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Well, that's just how inch. heavy that is. Gosh, that's not well, you imagine a bunch of drums, somebody trying to haul an entire kit. You know, this would be this would be a floor tom, you know, and it'd have three legs on it and yeah. two heads. And it's just in itself would probably weigh seven, eight pounds, probably maybe a little bit more. Yeah, without a little hardware. So, um, but yeah, it's, uh, it'd be tough to want to load in the car and you know and I know we've done it many times full drum sets you got a full drum set. <laughs> yeah. we got three, three full drum sets yeah, sitting, sitting right up there, there and about yeah. 10 smack packs and they're heavy Actually, smack 10, pack. 10 prototype ten, smack ten, packs yeah. up there but three <laughs> drum sets that are very heavy yeah and take up a lot of room exactly so 16 by 16 mm -hmm. want it Oh, did I play this one? Ooh, that one's kind of low. Man. Hello? Who is it? <laughs> it's Woody Hello? Wood. It's Woody Woodpecker. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mom. Now, oh, I got my 20. Hey! <laughs> You're the winner. <laughs> Chicken dinner. You can take it home. <laughs> so, this is a 20 inch by 20 inch, which... Just so people know, hey Massimo, yeah. this will be your bass, bass drum, drum. Yeah, yeah. and with wood hoops, yeah. this will be your bass drum. And attachments. Oh yeah, it's gonna be so awesome. On the bass drum, mm -hmm. do you make it that deep? Oh yeah, we'll, oh, yeah, make, yeah. we'll make this one that's, this that, deep. That's a drum right there. Okay, boom. Wow. Now we can we can cut it down to whatever. Yeah. It's just gonna make the sound less deep right. sounding. Yeah. And, you know, and it's it's a, like for for Massimo. The idea of what we're doing for him, he wants the depth so he can get that. He wants a huge bass drum sound. sound. Yeah. Yes, oh. That'd be but it, it just gives it that complete difference from Smack Pack 16 bass drum to 20. Right. You know, I mean, there's just the difference from what from the drums that he has now yeah. to what we're going to build him right. is yeah. that these drums are all going to fit like you were talking about yeah. inside of one another and, and all work together so they're easy to carry around again. Okay. Hey, I had a question. Yes. I've been wanting to ask this for a while because I'm not a drummer. And, uh, you know, you put, like, on the bass drum. Yes. You put different types of heads. On. Yes. One might be a solid head. Mm -hmm. One might have a hole in hole it. Hole in it, yeah. You know, and then one might have a pillow in it. Yeah. You know? Uh, what kind of sounds do you get from each one of them? Well, it really just depends on what you're doing. Like a pillow is going to suck up the majority of the resonance, right. so it's going to dampen it a dun, lot. Dun, yeah, it's going to really make it a okay. thud type sound. Yeah. yeah. With nothing in it, it's going to be a very boomy sound. Yeah, so it's like you know, boom. It's, yeah. Boom. <laughs> do that again. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Another drink. Boom. 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 And the ones with the, the guys hole the cut out good. on the head. Huh? Um, it's it's a, probably a cross between, but most people end up putting some sort of dampening on in there so that okay. they get more of the thud type the, sound. The other thing is for miking, right. yes. a lot of guys will stick the mic right through yeah. the hole. Right through the hole. And sometimes they don't put the portholes in. Yeah. Mm. So, just depends. Yeah. So they have to mm. ask. They I, well, I mean, anybody can ask us whatever they want. I mean, whatever size. You, they can customize any of this stuff to whatever they want. Again, and if you can dream it, we can build it. Hey! I've so heard if that I before. wanted a 12 inch floor yeah. to... Uh, like a kick drum? Floor kick. Yeah, you yeah, can. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we would just have to build a kind of a riser right. for it so yeah. that it would be at the right height. Otherwise, it would be a very short throw on the, on the right, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be a little tiny, cute little deer. Yeah, cute little thing. <laughs> She'd be so cute. <laughs> the so, has yes. a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we went through six inch, eight inch, ten inch, twelve inch, thirteen inch, sixteen inch, twenty inch. Now we're going to stave shells. So our first one is going to be a thirteen. And does this look familiar, Mom? Looks like a. It pig. does look familiar. <laughs> Why does this look familiar, Mom? It's my floors. <laughs> oh. It's well, my table. I was gonna say it kind of looks like your ta your new table that we just finished. And this is on my floors. Yes. <laughs> so, so can I walk on it? <laughs> probably not at this point. <laughs> so, um, stave drums. You uh, cut specific angles, right. add a bunch of staves together, glue them all together. Um, I've seen people, you know, tongue and groove them, mm -hmm. do a round over and, you know, fit them together. Right. And I, there's so many different ways you can do um, staves. But you've got to have the jigs and stuff to right. route the inside, route mm -hmm. the outside, stuff like that. Yeah. So it's, it's definitely a little more work. But using solid woods versus plywoods, right. awesome um, you get awesome sounds, but I mean, amazing beauty mm -hmm. out of these things. I mean, birch is beautiful, but when you get to like babinga and, you know, I mean, acacia wood and, you know, maple, whatever. 13. This, this, yeah, this is, like, this is oh, a heavy. Yeah. yeah. This, this is acacia. Yeah. This is pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. Oh my <laughs> yeah. So it's this something is, you want to carry your whole drum set around with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, three quarters of an inch thick. It has not been routed yet, so it's still in its raw form, just glued together. Yeah. So, but pretty cool, huh? It is. Hey, show them one that you routed. Ooh. Well, you know what? I'll leave this one here. So, one we've done kind of looks like this. Hang on. <laughs> so, looks like this. Uh, that's the same woods, except we left a band in the center uh, so that you could still see the original kind of flooring uh, and then rounded the rest. You could definitely tell the color difference um, before, you know, whatever uh, finish, Swedish finish or whatever they put on this stuff. Yeah. And then uh, after we routed it down, mm -hmm. so yeah, th these are this is an eight inch shell, eight inch by four inch, and this will be a micro snare here soon. Mm -hmm. So I love it. Yeah, we've already so we've already there sold a few of these, and people love these things. Uh, we actually got one going to the show. Yep, so uh, people can see the one at the show. Yeah. Um, we have several different types going to the show right now. Yeah. Our peppermint. Yep. The peppermint snare, yeah. So, yeah, I this is this thing's beautiful. Yeah, it is nice. Feel all smooth that thing yeah, is. It is yeah. But it originally looked like this. Yep, yep. Yeah. And then it turned a lot of work like to do that. this. Yes. Well, I mean, I have a jig I made to be able to round this. Mm -hmm. So, and if they hadn't stained our hardwood floors, they would look just, just like, like this. To me, which, which is like which <laughs> really, really cool. Like, like, why did they why? use that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Give me the natural. Yeah. I would have taken it in a heartbeat. Yeah. This is so sweet. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful drum. The finished project. Well, you know, I'll leave them there. Okay. Moving on. So, other stave drums. Oh. That's a collection plate. This is the uh, <laughs> yeah. give give the offering. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking an offering. You got any money? No. Come on, Paul. Sorry. <laughs> Uncle Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Paul's yeah. always got he's Mr. Moneybag, so yeah. yeah, I don't think so. Okay, so uh, this is sixteen staves on this one. And uh, we chose sixteen because it worked for one thing. <laughs> And for the other thing, we liked how close to round it is, mm -hmm. but we don't have to make this one, um, we don't actually have to put this on our jig to make it round because we're keeping it. We're, we're putting wood heads on them, basically, okay. to wood toppers. Yeah. 
um, for a cajon style feel. Right. So, Sounds like birch. Then. So this is yes, this is birch. It's actually Baltic birch, and then um, birch. It's like an eighth inch birch plywood for the, the top of. But they they sound amazing as well. Once the second head is on, we put a sound hole and stuff in them. They uh, they, I don't they think really I heard them. Yeah, oh yeah, no, we, we, yeah, we have a... In the studio, they're, they're, yeah, they have a whole bunch of them. Yep, we have a stack. In fact, uh, we have a full drum set we're taking down to Nam. With, yes, that. it's a Cajun drum set. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Offerings? Be Mom's kind. got the money. Be kind, okay. That's pretty nice, though, I like that. Are you going to paint this? Yeah, eventually it'll be uh, stained. Stain or or stain. natural one too. Yeah. Keep it natural. I, I well, love natural, natural, I mean, believe me, natural is like, it's so yeah. beautiful. Uh, it, it really is. I feel like everything we've done natural, especially your drum set. Yeah. Like, That's it's so just, sweet. Yeah, with the lightning and all that really stuff, it's just it. amazing. Amazing. I tell you, these two guys, they know how to work well together. And they're so innovative and very creative. We're so creative. Thank you. Oh, Mom. That requires another glass. <laughs> That's how we came up with your table. I know. I was so surprised. Really. It's it was so only for sweet. shop talk. It just wasn't for you. <laughs> Come on, Come on. Pass the bottle. Pass the bottle here. Um, just so you guys know that I don't drink wine. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, so, <laughs> what does Brandon do? Nothing. Yeah. I don't have anything. I am the soberest guy around. He didn't have uh, any vices. No. Uh, no, not me. So this is an eight-sided stave drum. You know, it's got the wood top on. Uh, this is actually Babinga, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we did this one, it's kind of a thin, we'll probably put a snare in it. Maybe a lap style kind of cajon, just a little travel thing that you can take and just play anywhere, really. Yeah, you could even uh, put a little handle in it. And yeah, do, you, do you whatever. Can it like a tambourine. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can, can put even, jingles we, in we it. We can even put the jingles in yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Well, we have, uh, we have one. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, that that one is I think an eight inch. This is a six, six inch, inch, I think. Yeah. Do you also have any eight. more of this wood here? Yeah, we got. Yeah, we got lots, lots of, it. of it. Yeah. And you're gonna smooth out all of this? No, it won't be. It will not be round. It's gonna stay that. It's but gonna, we'll okay. we'll soften the corners. Just like and stuff. just like this is soften. Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll be like that. Nice wood though. Yeah. Oh like yeah. It. That's, <laughs> some that's nice sweet. Stuff. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Offer. <laughs> You'd rather have this. Offering. Yeah. Yeah. offering, offering. Yeah. <laughs> Get more bills than that one. <laughs> okay, so this one has a hole in it. Yeah, that we just haven't put the hole in this one or oh, that okay. one yet. They're just not finished. Okay. So they will all have a hole in them. And when are also, you finishing them? <laughs> when I feel like it. <laughs> when he's got time. Yeah, after the damn show, <laughs> <Yeah>. probably. <laughs> Yeah, it won't be directly. After yeah, the yeah, exactly. So we got we got we got a band come from Italy directly yeah. after the name show. We talked about that one last week. Yeah. So, but things have changed though. Well, they're they're, they're north of somewhere. They're <laughs> <laughs> don't know where, but <laughs> they are definitely north of somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm thinking that's gonna do it for this show. This was uh, oh, this was short. I, yeah. Sure. No, oh, this was not short. Mom, believe me, when you see how long it is, yeah. you'll realize that it's short. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'll watch, folks. The, I'll watch part two tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's already asleep. <laughs> so that'll do it for this episode. Uh, I'm Brandon. Oh uh, yeah, but we. Need I to know. Work. I will. I'll All get right. to it. I'm Kim. I'm Karen. And I'm Paul. So I'm don't Paul. forget to. <laughs> Subscribe. What else? Oh, I put her on the Thumbs spot. up. Yeah, yeah. Like, like subscribe, like. share. Share. Come on. I, I All right, next on you guys time. For this. Hey, you re hey, remember? Us. Okay, you know, share. You gotta You're the like guy. Share. Oh, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so this will do it for another episode of Shop Talk. Yeah, so, Smack Pack out. Smack Pack out. out.